What's up everybody, it's your girl C Money. So today um, I made Buggy Popo's My Way and just a disclaimer, it was the third time in my life I have ever made them and they turned out pretty good. So I will do a step by step video and if you would like the recipe, comment down below. Um, if you don't, that's fine. And yeah, cool. Let's get the show on the road. So first you're going to get two cups of warm water. Then you're going to put two packets of yeast and this is the one that I'm using. Once you've done that, you're gonna leave it for 10 minutes and when you come back, it should have frothed up. If it doesn't froth up, that means your water was too hot or too cold or your yeast is expired. So my yeast has been sitting there for about 12 minutes and um, it should look like that okay so first you're gonna have a hundred grams of sugar two lightly beaten eggs four tablespoons of oil and one teaspoon of salt pour those in the mix um, I don't actually know what order is right but and then you're gonna put um, five to six cups of flour and um, for this I just use normal flour like all-purpose flour not self-raising I guess because you already have yeast in there, so I'm just going to give this a mix and I will show you guys what it looks like after. So this is what it looks like after a couple of stirs um, with a wooden spoon, but then you're going to wash your hands and mix it real good um, so that you can knead it. So after you knead your dough, um, you're going to want to put it in a bowl that um, has been lightly greased with either butter or oil your choice um, and then you're just gonna leave it and um, fatbulow it with the solo cover it with a towel and then depending on how hot or warm or cold your um, kitchen is it should rise people say leave it for an hour I left mine for half an hour yesterday and yeah so we'll come and check this back in half an hour Welcome back everybody to my region. <laughs> no, um, so this is how long? 50 minutes. Um, I did check on it half an hour. It was a bit um, like I could have used it then but I got a bit sidetracked with my series on Netflix but this is what it looks like. I'll put a um, what it looked like in the beginning so you can see the difference. And then you're just going to take it out, knead it a little bit more, but not too much. Um, and then you're going to portion it off into little buns. Yeah. Pretty good. So I just like to put like a little bit of um, falao maca on the bench. Um, and then... Don't at me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I really like a few recipes, and um, some say that the more you knead it, like if you over knead it, it'll be like not real, not that soft. So I think that is should be all good. So I'm just using these little. So you can use like. These trays grab a knife or the knife you have and cut off like and then you could do it 
like little buns like that and pop it in your tray or you could roll it and then like swirl it like that but there is no right or wrong it's up to you it's your preference okay so i will do that and then i will show you guys what it looks like okay so once you have um kneaded your dough while you're doing that you want to preheat your oven to 190 um i just put mine on the fan one <laughs> and then yeah I'll, oh and then i will show you guys how to make the sauce once you've rolled them up, they should look a little bit like this, depending on how you do it. Um, they look small, but they're going to rise when they're in the oven. And then, now we are going to make our sauce. So, I'm using Kara coconut milk. Um, and... Tip it in there. $2.90 at the dairy once you've put your two cans of coconut milk you're gonna chuck in um, one cup of sugar and um, it's up to you what how much sugar or coconut cream or coconut milk you put in here um, and another optional step is mixing water in there but um, my family like everything lo 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 so we're gonna skip that step um then after this you're gonna pour it in your trays you're not gonna pour, pour all of it in but you're gonna pour a majority in um chuck them in the oven um and then towards the end you're gonna tip a little bit more on top and yeah cool Ooh. This, is the, this is the end result everybody don't worry about the foil um i packed it and forgot that i didn't take an end video anyways um don't mind the burnt bits on the edges it's just the cream that um yeah came out I like to put a lot of cream in because the buns, they soak up a lot of the um, sauce. So that's why they're a bit burnt on the edges, but yeah. So from my whole mix, I managed to make these and then I had like a bit left over. So yeah. What's up guys? So that brings us to the end of my cooking video this is what happens when we're on lockdown and I literally have nothing to do so if you would like to see more no, <laughs> don't because um, this is probably the only thing I can actually cook but yeah I hope you guys are keeping safe keep on praying keep on being happy keep on sending out those positive vibes and yeah we shall see you guys again